Ever wondered why South America and Africa appear to fit together like pieces of a giant jigsaw puzzle? This thought may have occurred to you while critically observing a map of the world. These continents despite the expansive Atlantic Ocean that separates them, seem to have contours that mirror each other quite remarkably. The western coastal line of Africa seems to snugly curve into the eastern coastline of South America. This isn't just a figment of your imagination, but a reality that geologists and cartographers have studied and confirmed. This intriguing observation is not just a mere coincidence, it is a clue that leads to a profound understanding about the formation and transformation of Earth's surface. It reveals the secret of an extraordinary geological event that has been shaping our planet for hundreds of millions of years. This phenomenon is known as continental drift. In the early 20th century, Alfred Wegener, a German meteorologist, brought forth the radical idea that the continents were once a single unified landmass, which he named Pangaea. This revolutionary idea shook the scientific world. Born in Berlin, Germany, Wegener was no stranger to controversy. He was known for his unconventional thinking and daring proposals, but this was by far his most audacious claim. In the realm of geology, this was a concept that was unthinkable, and indeed seemed madness. The continents after were colossal entities firmly rooted in the depths of the earth. They stood strong, unyielding against the forces of nature, winds, storms and the relentless waves of the sea. And yet, here was Wegener, proposing that these seemingly immovable giants could shift and drift. It seemed preposterous to suggest that continents these massive landforms could move. Wegener, however, was undeterred. He was a man of immense courage and unyielding determination, willing to face the skepticism and mockery of his peers. With unwavering conviction, he pointed to the peculiar yet strikingly perfect alignment of the coastlines of South America and Africa. He stated, with an air of confidence, that this was no mere coincidence. Wegener further bolstered his argument with the strikingly similar fossil records found on the two continents, positioned on diametrically opposite sides of the Atlantic Ocean. His belief was that these shared species could not have crossed the vast ocean, hinting towards a connection in the past. Furthermore, he observed the evidence of ancient climate patterns that seemed to corroborate his theory. His keen eye detected patterns that were inexplicably common between regions thousands of miles apart. This indicated towards a single unified landmass in the past, now split apart. But still, his theory lacked a convincing mechanism to explain how continents could drift apart. Fast forward to the mid-20th century scientists discovered seafloor spreading at the mid-ocean ridges. This powerful discovery proved to be the missing piece in a complex scientific conundrum that scientists around the globe had been grappling with for decades. The concept is fairly simple. As new crust forms at these ridges, it functions as a colossal conveyor belt, pushing and pulling the existing crust along with it. This process, happening in the silent depths of the ocean, has a profound impact on the surface. It is the unseen force that drives the movement the continents, slowly but ceaselessly. As continents are displaced, the world as we know it is reshaped, changed, altered in ways both subtle and dramatic. This groundbreaking revelation was the birth of the theory of plate tectonics. This unifying theory not only validated Wegener's revolutionary idea of continental drift, but also offered comprehensive explanations for earthquakes, volcanic activities and the formation of mountain ranges. The theory of continental drift suggests that our continents were once a single landmass that broke apart and drifted to their current locations. In the 1950s with the discovery of seafloor spreading by geologists, Harry Hess and Robert Dietz, they determined that molten material rises from the mantle at the mid-ocean ridges, pushing the continents apart. This discovery completed Wegener's theory. Currently this theory has been incorporated into the wider theory of plate tectonics, serving as the foundation of modern geology. This serves as a reminder that our planet is alive and ever-changing, with what seems fixed and permanent potentially in motion on a geological timescale. So, the next time you look at a world map, remember, these continents aren't as stationary as they seem. You might be surprised to know that these massive landmasses are not fixed in place, instead they are continually on the move, although at a pace slower than the growth of your fingernails. These motions are powered by the energy from Earth's heated inner layers, this geological phenomenon, referred to as plate tectonics, is responsible for the never-ending transformation of our planet's surface. The continents rest on large sections of the Earth's crust, also known as tectonic plates. These plates are in constant, albeit slow motion due to the Earth's mantle's thermal energy. 
As they move, they reshape the world as we know it. They are the architects silently sculpting mountains, valleys, and even the ocean floor. The movement of these plates is a testament to the dynamic nature of our planet, a ceaseless transformation that is as old as Earth itself. It's a fascinating journey of discovery that continues to unravel the mysteries of our dynamic Earth.